Minsk, Belarus. It's rush hour, and the metro system is as crowded as it gets. The perfect time for a sinister scheme. Just feet from security, a man in a black cap enters, carrying a heavy duffel bag. The surrounding commuters have no idea it's packed with nails, scrap metal, and enough explosives to equal 12 pounds of TNT. The terrorist wants to spread chaos and stir anger toward the government. Hidden in plain sight, he boards a train. And just minutes later, he's in the busiest station in the city, hoping to maximize the destruction. The menace blends right into the unsuspecting crowd and descends to a cramped subway platform. He pauses by a column, surveying his potential victims. Then, anticipating an arriving train, he grabs his duffel and goes to set the trap. The next time he shows up on camera, the bag is gone. The creep stakes out a spot upstairs from the platform, clutching a remote control detonator and waiting for the perfect moment. In his twisted mind, everyone below is a mere pawn to be sacrificed. The shock is unbelievable, and the toll is enormous. The blast erupts near the central staircase. Ravaging a waiting train. And sending commuters running in fear. On the opposite side of the stairs, dozens more are overtaken by the concussion. Hysteria sweeps through the station as thick smoke chokes the underground complex. For a moment, there's a mad rush for the exit. But soon, people resist the panic and file out calmly, defying the attack. But even as a father comforts his frightened daughter, the villain strolls out of the station unnoticed. Emergency responders scramble to help. The bomb has killed 15 and injured more than 200. But there is some solace for the victims and their families. Thanks to the extensive surveillance evidence, the terrorist and his accomplice are caught by police. They're tried, convicted, and executed for the heinous crime. The vicious madman pulled a cowardly attack, thinking he could start a revolution. Instead, his act came back on himself. And the legacy he craved was blown to bits. <laughs>